All right, so we're uh, working on the cabinetry now. I've got the uh, cabinet for that side made up um, and uh, getting primed. Working on this other side, um, came to the conclusion that I essentially have to make them in place. Uh, I can't really make them as separate cabinets and put them in here because everything is a little different size. Twenty inch cabinet essentially but it's 20 inches at one point but not <laughs> anywhere else uh, basically 20 inches off the bottom from the back of the wall um, we're gonna have a three inch toe kick uh, here so um, right now we're at two and a quarter overhang and custom made this piece first and then used it as a template for this side um, but as the van is basically sh uh, shrinking in size this way and this way as it goes back I had to custom cut this one again a whole bunch of times and uh, make this one fit. Basically, these are the core two pieces. There'll be one more like it on the end down here, and then uh, the rest I'll have to infill everything in between. Uh, and then there's an end panel down here, and this will create a cabinet here where we'll have three drawers here, and then uh, the water uh, tanks will sit underneath on this side with the sink up here at the end of the countertop. So. Here we've got the uh, 40 inch base cabinet right behind the driver's seat here. It'll have a nice countertop on top of that. And the bed will fit between the cab, this cabinet and then the back shower space. And yesterday we got that walls, the walls up for that and uh, got that, uh, the pan fitted in there. So you can see exactly how that's gonna work. It's a 32 wide by 24 deep. And then uh, again, utilizing some of the uh, deeper pocket into the wall here. And uh, so we're going to get these guys covered up. And this afternoon or today, we're going to go run and get some material for the ceiling and get the ceiling all uh, buttoned up here so that we can tie everything together. Um, I was going to go with separate construction, you know, uppers and all that, and then do the ceiling last. But um, we decided to shift that because of the... Uh, the way we're building the cabinets in place, um, I'm going to have to get the ceiling material. And since we have our places to secure that are here and over there, whoop, where am I? Over there. Um, basically, I'm going to, once we have our material, I'm going to cut back a little bit on the top here, slide our, our ceiling material all the way back under there, and then the ceiling, the ceiling material will run the entire uh, length all the way across up through here. So. So the ceiling will be all up through all of this and uh, upper cabinets going on all across this whole section here. And then across the very front up top here, we're also gonna um, you infill with a, a high shelf uh, above uh, so that uh, again, utilize a little bit more of that space and deal with this uh, transitions on the ends here um, that are kind of kooky. So more details to come. Why to work area, dear? Yeah. Bit of a disaster zone. <laughs> bit, of, bit of a disaster, yeah, a little bit. So what's to be expected? Ooh. Good. Walls are going in. Yeah. Looks like it's getting somewhere, huh? Today, yeah, it does. <laughs> Yay! And so this is what Eric does all day. <laughs> All right, quick update. We got the uh, cabinetry is well underway here. Um, made a few changes in the design as we were going. Um, Michael wanted them a little bit deeper, so they originally were going to be 18 inches deep. Um, we went to 20 inches deep, and uh, uh, again, there's uh, we got our sink cabinet on the end here. Um, this will be three drawers uh, through this one. Um, this one is actually with a wheel well. The bottom one is going to have a spot for the propane, a small propane tank, a little one pounder, and uh, a false front on there that so looks like a drawer. Then this, similar to this uh, second drawer there, there, and then the rest up above here is all going to be basically an office kind of a space. We're going to have a big upper upper cabinet filled built in up on top here. And then again, back at the end here, we've got the uh, basically the closet. Well, down underneath will be all the storage for the uh, batteries and solar and all of the electrical connections. And then above that will be a uh, large closet space here. And, and again, utilizing the recess 
a back into the walls for both of these spaces a little bit to maximize that space. All right, so basic bed construction is uh, going here. Um, basically, we've got a, uh, he's going to do a 24 inch seat, bench seat like this. Uh, with a 21 gallon water tank that just fits over on this side between the wheel well and the end of the uh, cabinet and he's got a mattress that's uh, going to be going to 32 inches and so we'll have a cut in the where at 24 and then an 8 inch piece that'll create a backrest and then uh, this will have the pull out section that'll cross the whole front here It'll look just like a uh, cabinet front, um, and then it'll have the slats running back across this way, and it only has to come out 8 inches or so to go to 32 wide, and so that's what I'll be working on next. Um, I'm also going to do kind of like I did with mine. I'm going to put the whole thing on a long piano hinge so that uh, this whole thing can lift up and access underneath, and uh, the water tank can slide out the front if it ever needs to to be access to this way here so uh, moving right along oh, uh, interesting bit of problem solving here to deal with um, up here at the front of 2018 ford transit van uh, they have these uh the airbags up inside of here and then so they've got they've created these great big foam uh deals to kind of hold that in place and make sure that the bags when they go off if they go off go down um and there's this whole transition point here of how, what you do to deal with these areas. Um, this side we had cut some of this one away on this side and then reinstalled it with uh, just one of the screws. There was another one over here. Uh, cabinetry is going to come out to here. Uh, I kind of jumped the gun a little bit uh, cutting this off because now um, I'm actually going to uh, be creating a little bit more of a of a long shelf, uh, deep shelf up across here to since this is really a lot of dead space up here. Uh, we figured we might as well put it to some use, uh, thanks to a suggestion here from a friend. And so uh, I'm working out how to do that, and uh, um, I'm going to show you here as I go what I have come up with to make this work. And uh, we'll see if it'll be an effective way to utilize that space. Had to move the van to finish up the construction here. Still got uh, a bunch of details to work out here. I was working this morning. I'm getting most of the ceiling in. A little dark, hard to see. But uh, got our nice gray ceiling. Add a little light on the subject. Working on this upper section here now, so. See how that goes.
gorgeous Easter Sunday morning in mountains below Williams, Arizona. Out of the desert, into the trees. <laughs> 